hi so this is gonna be a pretty short video because i wasn't able to find a whole lot of sources which is weird because this was actually a popular case a pretty well covered case in its time it's just been decades since it's happened and a lot of the sources are gone now so I was only able to find a few of them, but I'm going to compile what I could find and put it all in this video. So if you watched my last video, The Murder of Ella Bennett, this is the same family. This is Ella's grandfather's murder. So if you're interested, that's most of the publicity for this case. The reason that you hear about this case now is usually because they're talking about the murder of Ella Bennett and it's kind of like a background flavor story. But it is its own murder and I believe that it deserves its own coverage even though there's not a whole lot of it. So I'm just gonna get right to it. Our victim here is Robert or Bob Bennett and our accused is Kyla Bennett. She ends up going to trial for this murder and going in, that was basically all I knew besides their daughter, Charity, she's six at the time, and she gives birth to Paris and Ella, and that is, it's in the other video, okay? But for this case, I was pretty convinced at first that Kyla did it. Like, whenever I watched all of the coverage on Paris and Ella, I thought for sure that Kyla killed her husband. But now that I've got some more information, I'm not certain that it was her. I think that there's a strong possibility that it could be someone else. And I'm not saying that it definitely wasn't her. I'm not saying that I don't think that it was her. I think that it could be her, but maybe not. So Bob Bennett was a an executive for a trucking company. And this was his trucking company. It was named after him. But in truth, he didn't do a whole lot of the work for his trucking company, most of that fell on his wife, Kyla Bennett. And so they were married and then they got divorced. And then very shortly before the incident we were gonna discuss, they were married again for a second time. And presumably the reason that they got divorced was because Bob just keeps having affairs. Okay, I don't mean to speak ill of the dead, but it's. It's just objectively true. Okay, he had a lot of affairs. He was constantly going on vacations with a different woman every time. And we are going to focus on one of the mistresses, Betty Jean Forth, because she ends up testifying in the murder trial. She was his mistress and she threatened him with a gun in the days before his murder because she was living in this condo that he was paying for and he had just married this other woman and he was like, hey, Betty, I'm not gonna pay for your housing anymore. And so she threatened him with a 38 caliber, okay? And he was shot days later with a 38 caliber that was never recovered. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. Now, this murder was also just awfully convenient for Kyla, they had been divorced all of this time and then they got remarried. And whenever they got remarried, according to Betty Jean, okay, cause she was walking around, she had a diamond ring on that he gave to her. She was acting like they were engaged. She said that they were engaged even though he had just married someone else. And she said that he told her that the only reason that he was marrying Kyla was because Kyla had like a stake in that company and he wanted control over his company, he wanted his house, he wanted all the property that they had from being married before. And so, because they got married, Kyla now has access to his money, to his estate, to all of it, and then days later, he's dead. Which seems, you know, real, real convenient for her, especially because if that wasn't your plan, and you just married this dude again, even though he's continuing to have like multiple affairs with different women, he's engaged to someone else. Like what, why else 
would you be getting married to this dude? But people do it. People marry shit guys. I mean, I hate to, I hate to say anything bad about him, but like, come on, come on. Now, Charity was the child that Kyla and Bob had together. Charity was Kyla's only kid, but Charity was not Bob's only kid. Bob had a son. And after Kyla is acquitted, by the way, Kyla is acquitted because there are so many different suspects and the whole thing with Betty Jean and like he was involved in a bunch of shady stuff. And there are a lot of people who could have killed him. They never found the gun. They never found the shooter. They charged Kyla and Clarence Jerome Phillips, who was an employee of Bob's. And Kyla was acquitted. I don't really know what happened to Clarence Jerome. But after Kyla was acquitted, Kyla's son filed a lawsuit against her for wrongful death. And Kyla won the lawsuit. But not because the court found that she didn't kill him. It was because there's a technicality in the law that says that you can't file a lawsuit against your own spouse. And this lawsuit was being filed on behalf of her husband, who was dead. So because they were married at the time, the lawsuit is null and void. So there wasn't a lot of actual murder investigation happening in that case, but Kyla did win. Now the only evidence we really have left to go on and the evidence that had me convinced in the beginning that Kyla definitely did it was the words of Kyla and Charity. Okay, because Charity really, whenever she's asked like, did your mom kill your dad? She kind of dances around answering that question. And the most direct thing that she has said is I forgive my mother and I acknowledge that that implies that there is something to forgive, which really sounds like she thinks she did it, okay? And then when Kyla was interviewed for a documentary about her grandchild's murder and she was asked about the death of her husband, wait, no, she wasn't. She was asked about like her personality and she was talking about how she used to be really manipulative and that Paris is really manipulative and the, their whole family, it's a trait that they all have. But that she isn't as manipulative anymore because she doesn't have a jury to manipulate. Which states that she was manipulating the jury. Which suggests that she did it. So I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm not saying she did it. I'm not saying she didn't do it. But that's really it. I know that this was a super short video, but it's a whole murder. You know, I feel like every murder deserves to get covered even if there's not a whole lot of information to be found about it. But I guess that it's a good thing that this video is so short because the next one I'm gonna do is a certified biggin. Okay, we're gonna be doing David Berkowitz, the son of Sam. It's gonna be a lot, so be prepared.